What's up, guys? My name is Marcus Huskins. Thank you for joining me. As always, if you're finding this content useful, please go ahead, do me a favor, and hit that subscribe button, and I appreciate your support. Okay, so moving right along, we're working in Studio One version 4 today. I'm trying out one of the uh, version 2 color schemes here just to change things up a little bit. And I wanted to take a moment to focus on a couple new things that were added in version 4.1. And that is specifically the new tempo ramp abilities that we have in our tempo track over here. In addition to that, I wanted to take a look and maybe help shed some light on time linear versus beat linear, which is the new mode that we have in 4.1. Okay, so to start off with here, let's start off with actually these new time-based modes. So you'll see over here we have time linear and beat linear. Now the easiest way to explain this is that time linear is what we've always had. And beat linear is a new way that we have in terms of working. So let's take a listen to this track over here. Uh, right off the bat, full disclosure, this is from, let me just try to find it over here, uh, MVP Loops. This is the MVP Dream sound set. I really like these sound sets. They have a lot of nice stuff that I can use for ideas. In addition to that, we have different samples. And for example, like kick, cymbals, uh, you have some snares. So some of these are really, really great to use as one shots to build your own custom kits or to trigger them with sample one XT. But today we're listening to a full mix. So that is a material we'll be working with. Now this material is set to 69 BPM. So if I go ahead and play this, We have this set to time stretch. So now let's go ahead and let's speed this up to, for example, 80. Now keep in mind, I'm on time linear. So you see what happened there. We changed it and the actual duration or length of our audio event and everything changed. Now, if I bring this back down, you'll see that it stretches out. So let's bring this back to 69. Now let's go ahead and we'll go to time base and I'm going to change to beat linear. So now when I change to beat linear, now if I go to my 80 again, you'll see that my tempo changed, but nothing changed in terms of the length or duration. But my cursor's moving faster. Let's bring this back down. Actually, let's go lower. Okay, I did a lot there, but you get the idea. So let's bring this back to 69. And actually, you know what, for now, let's go ahead and let's leave it in beat linear. Now I wanna take a look at some of these new tempo options. So for example, if I was to go ahead and add a tempo note over here, keep in mind we're in beat linear, so this is not gonna change in terms of the duration, only our cursor speed will be affected. Let's actually lock down this point over here. Now watch what we can do. This is what we've always wanted to be able to do. So for example, I could curve my tempo changes, and I'm creating now tempo changes with exponential ramps. So this just makes it really, really easy to program tempo changes, especially if you want to have a nice segue between two different bars or four bars, and you can also adjust those curves. Now really quickly, because I think it's important, let's take a look at what something like this would look like if we actually exported a MIDI file and imported that tempo map into another DAW. So this would be an example, and you can kind of see based on the lines here, you can kind of see the way in which the tempo maps would have looked or the tempo ramps would have looked in Studio One's tempo area. But this is actually what's happening if we were to move over into Logic. You'll notice over here that we have these stepped tempos over here. And to be honest with you, this is really what's happening in the background. I know a lot of people uh, were requesting this feature for a long time and asking for this, but truthfully, Underneath these nice logarithmic and exponential tempo curves that we can create now with these tools that we're used to having uh, when working with automation envelopes, it's pretty much the same thing that it's always doing, but it just makes it much smoother and much nicer to work with. Now, keep in mind, we still have the same other features that we've always had as well. So I can use my editing tools to go about and adjust any of these tempo changes. 
And we do also have some really nice manual tempo mapping additions that have been added, but I'm going to save that for another video. So that's creating tempo ramps and the new time base modes, time linear and beat linear in Studio One version 4.1. So that's all the time I have available today. Again, if you enjoyed this content, please go ahead, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comments below and I'll do my very best to get back to you. And as always, we'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.